Well, would you look at that? Wow, who would have thought I'd be vlogging on the channel again? And I said to myself, you know what? The last time that I vlogged on this channel, I believe it was around New Year's. And being that it's been a long time since I've actually done a beach day video on the channel, to all my OGs out there that remember, I used to do beach day videos on the channel many, many years ago. And being that the algorithm is different and that I'm vlogging now on my vlogging channel, in which you guys can go on ahead and go check out my vlogging channel down below on Real Vlogs. I said to myself for 4th of July week, why not go on ahead and give you guys a special vlog? So I hope you guys tune in for the entire thing because it's about to get nutty as it always does. And first things first, give this video a like if you guys want to see more vlogs on the channel, at least hopefully soon. I was thinking about doing special vlogs here and there, but what I'm planning on doing is taking my ass to the gym and then hopefully I will link up with my friend Paul, his girlfriend, his brothers. I have a bunch of friends that want to do different things today and I'm not really sure as to what I want to do. I'm trying to figure things out. We, we all agreed that we're all going to go to the beach, hopefully. So if that ends up being a thing and we don't get stuck in traffic, uh, then we're going to go to the beach and have ourselves a good time. And again, I want to know what you guys are doing for 4th of July week or at least what you guys did depending on when you're watching this video. And uh, the vlogs are back. Hopefully we're going to have a great time here today. Maybe not get too burnt, who knows. Uh, but with that being said, Join me alongside the journey and uh, let's take our asses outside and get the day started. Five minutes later. Do you guys remember when I told you that I was working on my very own Rykon fan manga? Well, this is a little sneak peek as to what is to come on the channel. One of the earlier pages for my early adaptation of the Rykon fan manga, which I will be dropping, I think, in the next two weeks. I want to thank you all so much for your support. The coloring was done by my good friend Raging01 who is phenomenal and did a phenomenal job with this. So what you guys are looking at now is the origin story to Rykon, what happened on Planet Vegeta, and so many awesome things to come. So I hope you guys are excited for this because I'm telling you all right now, we've been working on this for many, many years, and finally, just in about two weeks, it's about to come. Look at this dude. Oh, you spotted me, did you? Oh, what up, man? What you want? Yeah, I ain't got no coffee. I ain't got no treats. Much much later oh my christ man it's so hot outside it has to be at least 90 95 degrees the sun is out no clouds i'm gonna get burnt so bad i'm gonna come out looking like a lobster man it's gonna be crazy i mean a lot of people are on the road right now uh because everyone and their mothers are going to the beach but hopefully uh i'll get there with everyone a little early because the later we get there the worse it's going to become look at these potholes i wish i could show you guys all these potholes man it's like these potholes are made to like destroy your life. You hit one of them and that's the end. It's like you're gonna get jeering on the road. It's insane. But being that I'm going to my friend uh, Paul's house relatively early, he's still at the gym, so I don't know what the hell's going on. I just got back from the gym not too long ago. I showered and I'm ready to keep it moving, but he's still there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's beating his meat in the locker room. I don't know what he's doing, but I hope he's gonna meet me at his house because if not, I don't plan on sticking around. I'm gonna I'm a bounce. I mean, man, look at There's so many people out here, it's like, it's universal. It's like once it's 4th of July, we're hitting the beach. And you know, technically, I'm not supposed to be holding this camera and uh, recording myself while I'm driving. But if I just so happen to get chased by the police, then I've played a lot of GTA. And I mean, I've played a lot of GTA, man. I think I can evade them. I'll get caught. I mean, I'm fairly certain I'll get caught. They're, they're probably going to like you know throw like spike strips and stuff like helicopters ac 130s and stuff but why are there so many old people on the road i don't understand this like this one dude next to me he's got to be at least pushing 95 right and <laughs> he's driving really slow but he's one of those guys that like really has a hard time seeing so i see him doing this behind the wheel so i'm like oh christ if he swerves into me then i'm gonna swerve into the next guy and then that guy's gonna swerve into the next guy and they're gonna cause a whole disaster on the road and i'm not trying to have that especially on fourth of july man i'm young i have a life to live i have a wrestling career to establish i can't die young and he's behind me too oh man if he rear ends me it's over much 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 later but of course he's not even here he's not here he's still at the gym i pulled up Probably like 20 minutes ago, I hit him up. Yo, where you at? I'm at the gym. Look at this dude. Where were you at for like an hour and a half? I'm right in front of you, Alex. Well, that's true. Yeah, you're right in front of me, but still. Six and a half hours later. So after about six hours and many, many pit stops, we're finally here. Yeah, that's right, get it all out. This, this guy just stuffed everything in the car like it's nothing. No bag, no nothing. And we got the pizzas? Those, that pizza is probably cold. It's probably like soup right now and it's freaking hot outside. We have a bootleg cooler with like ice that's probably melted by now. But we're here. This guy's vlogging too. I'm vlogging. I'll vlog. 
Yeah, isn't this like some Inception shit, right? It's like, you, you're, you got me as I got you. I can't wait to see your vlog about me, bro. We're not, we're not gonna get to the actual beach until like an hour from now. This walk is gonna be miserable. Miserable. I'm going home. You going home? Yeah. Alright. All right, I don't even feel like it's being out here. It's just so bad. Looks like you're kind of tired there, buddy. A little bit. Several days later. There are people <laughs> everywhere. Man, there are so many people at the beach right now. You can see my scar too, by the way. So, but yeah, Paul's in the uh, water with his girl. I'm chilling with Alex. He's basically cooking out here. We got pizza, which we basically almost ate. And uh, about to jump back in the water. I'm not sure. Hopefully, my phone doesn't get washed away, cause uh, there was one beach vlog that I did where my phone almost uh, just went into the ocean. And uh, that would have been bad on so many different levels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when I say there's a lot of people, I mean like there are so many people here. And it's like 4 o'clock, I'm burnt. We jumped in the water a couple times. And I'm, let me show you guys around real quick because this is crazy. Insane. Eight hours later. Okay, so I just got done dropping everybody off. I'm as red as a lobster. I know that I'm burnt, and I know that in the next few days, I'm probably going to turn brown, but I'm going to be peeling like crazy. So hopefully the traffic isn't going to be that bad because I'm really trying to get home. I have lots to do, lots of recordings to do. I have to shower. What in the world? It was almost an accident behind me. Wow, this like food guy, like this food truck and like this taxi cab. Oh my goodness, man. Two hours later so i'm back i'm home i'm burnt i'm tired but the grind never stops i have so many videos to work on that it's just inconceivable at this point plus i'm planning on going to the gym in a few hours from now and i'm not too sure if i want to because i'm tired and like my shoulders starting to hurt but i kind of have to so i'm just trying to get things done and this might sound really crazy this might sound very insane but for the most part some of the content that i'm working on right now isn't even going to be uploaded anytime soon i'm future proofing some stuff so uh, i think as the day progresses i'm going to try to immerse myself as much as i can with this and then i have some wrestling stuff that i have to go over and watch because i have a giant notepad here in my document word that i'm just typing out just for future preparations all right so to the people watching this vlog you guys are going to be the first ones to see what i have in store for you all in the future check this out Ah! Uh. Oh, that's all I'm gonna show you guys. Ah! Oh. Wait until you guys see what I have planned on the channel for the future. Oh, you guys are gonna love it. Hopefully you will. You know, I'll be the first to say it, and it really tastes nasty, but it really helps get the job done. Black coffee, no sugar, no cream, no milk, my dog is barking, no Christmas lights. But this gets the job done. I'm telling you right now, a cup or two of this, and I'm up for like days. These right here, these are my babies. I can't go a day at the gym without it. So right here, you guys can see C4 Ultimate, it sucks. This does not do the job for me. But on the flip side, we have NutriCore and we have Amino Build. I'm about to take some of this, get my ass to the gym, and get that Broly workout in because... If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Okay, so I genuinely think that I'm going to kill myself with the amount of supplements I'm taking and all of the stuff that I'm mixing together, but I'm trying to hurry up and get my training uh, back on the right track because with my surgery having to take a, a bit of a long time for me to recover, and I'm still not even fully recovered and I'm going to the gym anyway, I'm trying to hurry up and speed up the, uh, the workout process and whatnot because I need to hurry up and get back on the flow of things because I'm wrestling, man. I'm trying to make it as a wrestler. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, detractors, but I think uh, it's going to work itself out. I'm very confident in my ability. I'm doing what I have to do now to hurry up and prep and speed up my recovery if I can. If I can't, then so be it. But look at this. The amount of caffeine that I'm about to intake is through the roof. I'm going to be up for like the next like 72 hours. I'm telling you all right now, if you don't work out, do not take any of this because you're going to be seeing stars. 15 minutes later. So 
I would say it's about 9, pushing on 9.30. I just got to the gym, and it's still like at least 85 degrees outside. I'm not complaining, I mean, I'm sweating up a storm, which is a good thing, because I need to drain my body from all these calories I've been consuming, you know, following my surgery, but uh, hopefully the gym isn't gonna be packed, because I only have a few hours to go. So I'm gonna try to push through cardio, Try to do some chest, work on some quads. Many hours later. Okay, so the workout was a success. There's a massive mosquito right over there and I don't want to get bit. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm sweaty, I'm hungry, but I'm driven. I'm very motivated right now because I have a few things to finish up on my main channel in terms of like edits and whatnot. A few things to catch up on my second channel. I don't even know how I'm doing this because going to the gym twice a day, it becomes very staggering, I think. Um, lots of stress added to the body, but I'm, I'm very focused on succeeding and trying to get my body back to where it was before, but at the same time, you know, having a, a more established body than how I did previously. For example, I'm getting bigger. Um, I think at my peak, I was about 210, 215 in just solid muscle. Had a little bit of belly fat, but right now what I'm trying to do is slim down and try to get my BMI a little lower. Uh, get rid of all the belly fat and whatnot, trying to look like Jiren. But through that, I'm gonna have to stick with a core diet. A diet that is strictly, I guess, low on carbs, um, high on protein, obviously for cutting. I think I decided that I'm gonna try to cut a little bit. Uh, my current weight right now, after I just weighed myself, was 197. So I'm solid. Um, I'm not fat in any kind of way. I'm not skinny either, but I do have a little bit of belly fat that I'm trying to get rid of. So that's gonna be interesting. But uh, if there is one piece of information that I wanna share with you guys, it's I'm hurt, right? I'm still not in the clear. Uh, my shoulder's in horrible pain right now because I did shoulders a few days ago. And I was doing it with like heavy weights. So kind of injured myself a little bit, but if I'm injured, right, and I'm still doing this, then there's no excuse for anybody out there who's not injured to just sit around and just eat and get fat or not eat at all and get skinny, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have goals, I have aspirations. A lot of my friends, you know, they also have goals and aspirations. Uh, one of my closest friends, Justin, Taekwondo fighter, black belt, never did anything with himself when it came to fighting. I always tried to, you know, pressure him and, you know, because when you, when you have pressure added, you tend to like, I guess, keep up with the routine and you tend to I guess push yourself a bit more but in his case he just didn't want to do it no more I thought he wanted to do like MMA fighting but he never ended up doing it you guys already know me pro wrestler but I'm not taking my wrestling as serious as I should or could uh, and I'm trying but this is my delay so if I'm still pushing myself after coming off of surgery three months ago three months I'm not even fully cleared and I'm still doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm not sure if it's benefiting me or if it's not. I mean, the benefit so far is I have people coming up to me saying, yo, you look good. You're getting big, thick, you know? So that's always a good thing. Uh, but as I'm going home, I'm going to get on my phone. I'm just gonna write a bunch of ideas uh, as to what to do for content. I'm doing future content too, like I said before, uh, trying to future proof some stuff. So a whole lot of things uh, that I need to catch up on when I get home. but. Uh, I guess the message of this little bit or piece right here is uh, no matter what the circumstance is, if you're in pain, if you're not in pain, if you're injured or not injured, if you have any kind of aspiration to push yourself, I encourage you all to push yourselves because you'll never know when your life is over. Um, sadly enough, we can learn from these experiences, for example, with Etika, with many people that have come and gone in our lives, you know? So my best uh, advice is to, I guess, do what you can with what you have and make something of that because you'll never know. You'll never know if you can succeed, if you'll fail. I mean, you you probably will fail, but through failure comes success. You know what I'm saying? So life is too short, man. If I die tomorrow, I hope I'm remembered, but at least I know, or at least my friends and peers know and everyone else knows that I did what I could with what I had and at least tried. Okay, so I want you guys to check this out real quick. So I'm not normally a collector of many things, but I really found myself enjoying collecting these Dragon Ball Super Cards in which I've been doing since, I think, 2018. And as you guys can see, I have some pretty dope cards here. I'm gonna show you guys more of all of these cards on my 
vlogging channel, but just so you guys get a little glimpse, these are all hollows, by the way, so I have so many that I've been collecting, and thankfully enough, I have a, uh, a variety store next to me, so I can go on ahead and just purchase these cards, but check this out, man. Some of the absolute best, and there's so many in here. I mean, like, I've been trying my best to go to whatever convention and seeing if I can find like any kind of like Dragon Ball super card I can especially if it's a hollow if it you know looks good I, I would say because I don't really play this game right oh by the way so super Dragon Ball Heroes cards too look, I mean look at this straight from Japan homie straight from a Japan so like I said before uh, anytime I go to a convention I'm like alright so I have to peep to see if I can find any of these cards and we have brand new cards too we have Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, I need to stack up on some uh, hero cards, but we have Cumber, obviously, we have Blue Goku, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4, Xeno Goku, uh, trying to fill that in, but yeah, look at this, Gogeta, Jiren, MUI, Goku, Broly, Zeno, we have like the best here, so I'm going to show you guys more of all of these cards when I can on my vlogging channel, because like I said before, there are so many, and uh, I have a lot that I need to... Uh, basically give away i probably have like 900 cards just sitting here that i don't even use so just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a glimpse of this because i i think this is pretty dope stuff and uh that basically that's that's all i have so far i mean i i have some of the like the older cards as you guys can see like over here like um these are non hollows right these are just like whatever's but i actually have like some of like the uh older school uh dragon ball cards if i can go on ahead and see if i can find them here real quick there's somewhere here though, but up oh, there we go. The original cards, man. Th these are some like the OG cards, homie. And so I've been stacking these up too. So I'll show you guys more on Unreal Vlogs, but just to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse as to uh, my collection of cards here, some pretty dope stuff. I don't really, you know, use them to play or whatever. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll sell them. But for the time being, I'm keeping these bad boys with me because uh, some of these cards are just too good to give away. <laughs> Oh.